Hello, are you looking for a gift for that special gardener in your life? If so, then this is the video to watch. I've got 10 great gift ideas that are sure to please any gardener, whether they are brand new to gardening or have been doing this for a decade. Hi there, if we haven't met before, I'm Allison and this channel is all about my family's Puget Sound garden life. These gift ideas are things that I love to use on a regular basis and are a great treat for any gardener. The first gift idea I wanna show you is my absolute favorite. This hummingbird feeder is made out of a glass mason jar. And what I really love about it, other than it being beautiful to look at and the hummingbirds love it, is that it has a wide mouth right here. So it's super easy to clean. It's really important you keep your hummingbird feeder clean. And this one, you can get in there with a scrub brush. It's dishwasher safe. Even the bottom pieces, which come apart into two pieces, are dishwasher safe and easy to clean. This will look beautiful hanging on your back deck, uh, hanging out in your yard, and the hummingbirds love it. Of course, any gardener ought to love it too. This next gift idea is one of the tools I use most frequently in my garden, and it's a nice pair of hand pruners. This is the Corona brand hand pruners. The blades are replaceable. You can sharpen them to keep them nice and sharp over time. And if you take good care of them, they're bound to last you for years. I know that if you're anything like me or your gardening friend is anything like me, you need multiple pairs of pruners. So even if that gardener in your life already has pruners, they could use more. I could use a pair in my front yard. I could use a pair in my backyard. I could even use a pair in my gardening wagon that I take down to the community garden because my pruners are never where I need them to be. Also, they get worn out over time, and I will admit I leave mine outside when I shouldn't, so it's always good to have a new pair of pruners. I've tried some cheaper brands on Amazon, and they just don't hold up as well as this Corona brand does. I haven't mentioned this yet, but you can buy all of these products off of Amazon and have them shipped right to your door, making it that much easier to shop for that special gardener in your life. If you shop using those links in the description without any extra cost to you, it'll give Puget Sound Garden Life a slight commission to help our channel grow even more. I start a lot of my own seeds and grow a lot of plants from cuttings. And when I'm thinning my seeds out, these pruners are just a little bit too big. And what I really recommend is a pair of snips. These Fiskars Micro Tip Snips are amazing. I'm so excited that I have them and they've been a really great tool to have. They are so fine and sharp. It feels like I am, can be so accurate that I'm sewing in the garden. I don't really sew much, but when I'm trimming my little sprouts, I want to get in there just with these little fine snips and trim off any sprouts that I don't want to keep so that my plants are thinned and can grow nice and strong. I also know that Corona makes a pair of fine micro tip snips as well, and the Corona brand is one that I definitely trust. Another tool that I use in my garden all the time is string and twine. I use this to tie up my peas, my tomatoes. I use it to tie up flowers that need to be staked up. And you can even use this in the kitchen if you're tying up a chicken that you're gonna roast or any other meat that you wanna roast. What I really love about this Lebre brand cotton string is that it's made in the USA, 100% cotton, and it's biodegradable. So when I tie up all my tomatoes and my peas and I need to take them down, I don't have to worry about removing that string before I compost it. I can just throw it all into the compost and it's no problem. This string is great for all sorts of uses around the house and every gardener can use an extra ball. This past year during the gardening pandemic, no, it wasn't a gardening pandemic, this past year during the COVID-19 pandemic, gardening became very popular, which is awesome that people are wanting to grow their own food and flowers. But it got really difficult to purchase seeds for some people. So one thing that I recommend you work on is trying to save your own seeds. 
The gardener in your life might be wanting to explore saving their own seeds and it would be really handy to have these adorable little seed saving envelopes. These are just a paper coin style envelope. It's a great size. It's about the size of a standard seed envelope. You can write on these and seal them. Your gardening friend can give the seeds away as gifts. They can store them for themselves for future uses. And this is a great pack to get your gardener started in their seed saving journey. Before I show you this next gift idea that I'm so excited about, I want you to hit that like button if you've seen a gift idea that you already think would be great for that special gardening friend. I'm so excited about this next gift idea. These copper plant tags are absolutely gorgeous. They're sure to please any gardener because I know for me, this is a special treat that I wouldn't normally buy for myself and I would love to receive this as a gift. In my garden, I use plastic plant tags and popsicle sticks to label my annual vegetables and my perennials. But these beautiful copper plant tags, I'm really excited to label my perennials with their varietal names so that I can remember those and these can be displayed as a permanent fixture in my garden so that when people come and visit, they can easily just look at the plant tag and see what the name of that plant is. Let's get real. I even need a reminder of what the names of my plants are. What's really cool about these is that you can engrave them with a Dremel type tool. You can write on them. They come with a permanent marker. And if you're wanting to make these uh, a plant tag that you would change out more frequently, like if you were using it for your vegetable garden and you were wanting to label it with the date you planted your seeds or your starts, they also come with these tags these paper tags, you can write on the paper tag with that marker, and then it comes with a clear plastic covering tag that will protect the pen from UV rays so that your marker isn't gonna fade. My absolute favorite way to label these copper plant tags is shown here by Lindsay. She used a metal stamping kit to label her copper plant tags, and they are absolutely beautiful. You can follow Lindsay on Instagram at Little Women Gardens. I know lots of gardeners that would be super excited to receive these as a gift because it's kind of one of those little splurge items that you wouldn't normally buy for yourself. I work from my knees a lot in the garden, especially when I'm planting seeds and weeding. I don't like to stand and bend over. I prefer to sit on my knees to make it a lot easier on my back. However, the ground isn't the best on my knees and I'm no spring chicken, so I really love having a kneeling pad. This kneeling pad is super thick, very durable, and great for using in the garden. If you're looking for something really super soft and squishy, this is not your squishiest kneeling pad. However, it is a very durable kneeling pad, which is what works great for me because I tend to leave things outside on accident and this really holds up well to that. I also have a lot of gravel that I work from and this does a great job holding up to being knelt on in the gravel. After a day of working hard in the garden, that special gardening friend of yours is probably going to want to take care of their hands. I have really sensitive skin and my hands get dried out easily. And when they're dried out, they're more susceptible to splinters and it's just no fun. So for gardeners, it's important to have good lotion to take good care of your hands. This is goat milk lotion made by the Bates family farm in Virginia. Even though they're not local to me, they are a small veteran owned farm that produces goat milk lotion and other products. This is their unscented lotion and I absolutely love it. What's even better is that you can buy this locally small veteran owned lotion from Amazon. A lot of things on Amazon aren't necessarily from small locally owned companies, but this is, even though it's not local to me here in Washington, it is from Virginia. The ninth gift I wanna show you is this beautiful basket. This basket can be used as a gardening hod which means you can take it out to the garden, harvest your produce and load this up. It can fit quite a bit. And what I really love about this basket is that I can rinse off all of my produce while it's sitting in this basket to get all that dirt off before I bring it into my kitchen. 
Another great use for this basket is if you're going to the farmer's market, you can load this up with your produce as you're shopping. And then when you put it in your car, unlike a reusable shopping bag, this isn't gonna fall over and have all your onions and potatoes rolling around the back seat of your car. And let's be real, this basket's super cute. So when you load it up with all your produce and take that picture for Instagram, it's gonna look really nice. The 10th and final gift I have to show you today is actually out in my garage. I don't have a greenhouse, but I do have this gardening space in my garage, which is my winter retreat for all of my gardening tasks. And it's where I keep my potting bench during the winter months. I absolutely love this potting bench that my husband got me as a gift. It was super easy to put together and it has all sorts of great features. During the spring and the summer, I keep it outside close to my garden, but during the winter, I keep it here in my garage to do all of my seed starting. There are some great features. I really love this metal top. You can see it does have some wear and tear and character because I keep it outside and I am okay with that. I love the little shelf up here. You can decorate it to make it look cute. You can also store anything up there that you want to be able to reach easily. It's got this really nice drawer. Don't judge me, my drawer's a mess, but I've got lots of tools that I can keep handy right there. It also has this nice large open space. Oftentimes I keep bags of soil or any other tall items that fit there nice and handy. In this area, I keep things that I don't want my kids getting into, like different fertilizers and my spray bottles that I use for different fertilizer applications as well as organic pest prevention. One feature on the side has got these hooks. I keep this bag here with clean pairs of gardening gloves, so I always have those handy. I love that this bench is lightweight and easy to move. It was really easy to put together, and it was such a sweet surprise when my husband bought this for me as a gift. It came pre-stained, and it definitely held up really well to the weather through the spring, summer, and fall. And I can't say how well it would hold up during the winter outdoors because I keep it inside, but you could always add additional stain to it if you're wanting to keep it outside. I hope you found something today that you think would be great for that special person in your life, or maybe even for yourself. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which gift idea is your favorite. Also, if you have another gift idea that you think would make gardeners happy, leave it in the comments so that everyone can learn from your idea too. If you wanna follow along with our family's Puget Sound garden life as we strive to grow more of our own food, eat more local food, and live an urban homestead life, then click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get an alert every time we come out with a new video as we strive to become more sustainable and self-sufficient. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.